when was the last time you played a game? And I don't mean the kind of games that people play in relationships. I mean a good old-fashioned board game. I'm Lindy, and this past weekend over the holiday, I played games with some friends of mine. And I have a really ugly lesson, but good comes out of ugly lessons, and that's what we're here to discuss today. So during the game, we've played before, and I find that sometimes the person with whom I'm playing, this really great friend of mine, um, just takes too long. And I simply am unhappy waiting. And there are even rules in the game that says you have 60 seconds to play or you lose your turn with penalties. Well, I didn't want to be the jerk. I didn't want to be that jerk. So I chose to be another jerk, I guess. Because after playing, you know, one day and saying, you know, hey, this is kind of going long, no response, I felt. And then the next day we're playing again and I'm saying, um, excuse me, I'm bored. What a lousy communication technique that is. I'm bored. They were supposed to understand, infer from that, oh, this turn is going really long, so will you please follow the rules and take your turn quickly so that we can move the game along? But that's not what I said. I said, I'm bored. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? Sadly, my friend or anybody could take it to mean I'm not good enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not smart enough. She's bored with me. She's bored with life. What does that even mean? I'm bored. Very poor communication. And it was a game. It was a game. Did it really matter? We had football on in the background. Come on, I could be entertained. But I was frustrated and I showed it in a horrible way. So after the fact, like the next day, we talked about what were other things that could have happened. I could have simply said, you know what? This game seems to be going a little bit long. Why don't we take a break? Or I could have said, you know what? One of the rules is that we have a timer. Let's put a timer on my phone and start using that rule, which we've been ignoring. Or I could have thrown the board on the floor, stomped all over it and said, I am never playing this again with you. Happily, I didn't choose that one. But that is an option. Doing nothing is an option. I could have sat there and fumed and been irritated and let it get under my skin. And that's not good either. So obviously the best answer is good communication. But what an opportunity to take an ugly situation, my being frustrated, and learn from it so that I am more careful about using good communication techniques and turning a really fun game into a good opportunity to learn, to grow, and to keep having fun because life is way too short not to have fun. I'm Lindy. Go out there and have a great day.